good day everyone my name is shiny and welcome back to another episode of thoughtful leaders thoughts on education presented by college dunya today we have with us dr nitin shah director and ceo of sal institute of medical science ahmedabad welcome to our show sir hello everyone thank you yes sir so my first question is uh, you have held key positions at sal institute of medical science uh, throughout your professional career what are the key factors that keep you connected with the education sector sir education is the base of everything so any education system uh, becomes more and more sound if it is strengthened by the academicians and uh, we here are many who are interested in academics we are all the time in the medical education and field it is full of academic and research activity and it is ongoing process so this in this field education never ends teaching is a constant learning process till you are active till you are alive right sir my second question is being the director of sal institute of medical science what is your philosophy of leadership and how do you describe your leadership style see leadership is not one man so or something like that you have to go with everyone so it is a team which leads so basically quality of leadership are there in many of the people you have to identify and you have to lead as a team and then and then you can go towards the progress and you can achieve your goal okay sir my next question is being the director of sal institute of medical science how do you strategize uh, about key program and administration of your institute once again if you are fully involved in education and teaching you have to identify the actual requirement of the society what can be the future of the society nation country and even the world so you have to teach train the students as well as the faculties to strengthen such kind of the attitude so that they can be there as a asset of the country yes so very rightly said sir uh, moving on to my next question the education system in india and other foreign countries are structured very differently in your experience what can be an inbound student gain from studying here at sal institute of medical science uh since years together uh, india is the country where education system is strongly getting revolutionized and day by day it is getting stronger stronger and stronger today we have a wonderful education system in all branches and every time we are coping up with the international standards under the leadership and guidance of our honorable prime minister we are proud to be one of the biggest educational system and very much favorable situation for all the students in the country for the international platform right sir my next question is what do you think uh, should be the priority for sal institute of medical science uh, over the next 10 years so for our institute is related to the medical education and patient management by the hospital so this institute is mainly this is the only branch where the education and training goes parallel from the very beginning there are two parts of this institute one is a college and one is a hospital so hospital is a teaching hospital where you have a live exposure to the patients and patients are the base to cope up with the requirement of the healthcare system and quality medical education is really necessary so we need to train our students for the quality medical education 
to provide their input and quality services for the healthcare system which would strengthen the nation's health overall so it is important at this point of time that we should focus in higher quality of education as well as in healthcare system right sir my next question is when you first came to sal education campus sal institute of medical science what was your vision for sal education campus and how has it evolved over time and how far along you are implement, implementing that vision we would always like to remain on top and we have remained top till now so far our hospital is concerned we were first corporate hospital of ahmedabad and having all the super specialty department under one roof so we were first to start in the state we were first to have the best technology cath lab where the people were not even dreaming for this particular services we were in first for that particular cath lab first time in asia in the country and asia in the continent also we were first to start a kidney transplant program in this particular hospital private corporate hospital in the state of gujarat similarly we have remained number one hospital by many aspects consecutive for multiple years and once again we would like to remain on top so far medical education on concern and as per the vision of our prime minister we will be looking forward to achieve and to maintain the same okay thank you for your thoughtful insight sir i would like to end this interview with the question that any suggestion you would like to give uh, students and current youth aspiring student for their future sir i would feel that uh, medical education and healthcare profession or even a doctor it is one kind of the human service our basic tagline is healthcare with human touch which is there from the inception of our hospital sal hospital which we started in 2001 so we would wish that every student who becomes doctor from our organization should be registered for this particular tagline it is a healthcare with human touch if you have some kind of the human touch that would be there for the healing of the patient so you have to get involved into the healthcare and you will get only involved if you get the quality medical education so i would expect my every student to become the ideal doctor for the society they should serve for the society they should stand by the patient and the relatives and for the family also thank you so much sir for your valuable time thank you from college dunia sir